Welcome back to Inexpensive Arms. My name's Steve. Guys, this is not a full-length video. This is basically a proof of work. Um, there's a channel on YouTube called uh, CRS Firearms. Never met the guy, but uh, he makes me laugh sometimes. He reminds me of a team leader I had back in Marine Corps that used to walk up to all the boots and uh, steal their coffee out of their MREs and then just chew it constantly. <laughs> I'm not going to say the guy's name to, to uh, protect the guilty, but uh, if you ever watch this, you know who you are. <laughs> so uh, CRS Firearms has a uh, contest where you send in a homemade plate and he tests them out. Um, I wanted to make my inexpensive contribution. I don't expect it's going to perform really well, but I, I actually think it might stop a handgun round or two. And uh, the best thing is, is I made this with parts I already had laying around in the garage, with the exception of a couple of pieces of tile. So I was in the hardware store, I picked up uh, three pieces of tile for a grand total of 72 cents each. And um, I had some uh, leftover uh, uh, butyl rubber caulk, which is roofing caulk. And uh, I already had a couple of tubes of that. And I had some uh, cloth left over from a uh, windshield cover, you know, those uh, winter windshield covers you can have. And a couple of pieces of uh, mesh wire that I had from when I built a chicken coop. So all I did was I made a strike face, as you can see right here, by uh, cutting down a 12 by 12 tile into a 10 by 12 uh, tile. I then cut a couple of uh, little angled notches near the top to uh, profile it so it looks a little bit more like a plate, and then did the same pattern for uh, the next two plates that are going to fit underneath it. So the top plate is going to be basically the strike face, and then after that I just sandwiched in layers of cloth, wire, and then uh, another piece of cloth with butyl rubber in between all of that holding it all together so it kind of sticks together and uh, then I put the next strike face down and etc and so forth so my thought is it's gonna shatter uh, from the first impact that it takes however if it has enough of a backing behind it especially that wire mesh it might catch a lot of the spalling and uh, prevent it from breaking through all the way this is just a theory but I'm really kind of curious to see how it'll perform I could have filmed the entire video myself, but there's a contest going on. I didn't want to build more than one because this is just kind of a throwaway. And I said, all right, I'll, uh, I'll send it in, see what happens, and uh, he's going to make a video. Um, I really, really, really would like to think this, that this would hold up to at least one or two handgun rounds, in which case it would actually be a very, very cost-effective way to uh, protect yourself in a worst-case scenario against handguns. Um, my guess is it's not going to ever hold up against anything like a rifle or an AK round, and that is one of the uh, tests, but I'd be very curious to see how it performs. Um, I've certainly seen probably what I think were worst performing competitors to it. So The uh, the entire contest basically said can't be more than 5 inches thick, and uh, can't weigh more, more than 9 pounds. So this fits all those criteria, and it is 10 by 12. So we'll see. All right, CRS Firearms, there you go. You got a new, uh, new one. It should be there Saturday.